Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a very interesting story. This has to do with Hunter Biden. You heard it right folks. This comes courtesy of the Washington Examiner and let's get right into it. And it says, Hunter Biden may have committed a felony by repeatedly stating that he is not addicted to drugs on a gun background check. A gun background check folks, this is some crazy stuff. All right, let's see what it says. Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, may have committed a felony offense by repeatedly stating that he does not use or is addicted to drugs on a background check to get a firearm. So the question states, are you an unlawful user or addicted to marijuana, any depressant, stimulant, narcotic drug, or any other controlled substance? That is the question on the background check. And Biden, Hunter Biden, he repeatedly answered no. So this is according to Politico. He had filed uh, a form to purchase a 38 revolver on October 12, 2018. So according to Politico, quote, lying on a form is a felony, no matter what form it is, any federal form. If you lie on it, you just perjured yourself and it's a felony. But the outlet says that prosecutions for it are exceedingly rare. Well, in the case of Joe Biden, I mean, in the case of Hunter Biden, because of Joe Biden, they're exceedingly rare. But if it was me, the one that was doing it, if it was you, the one that was doing it, oh, believe me, they'll prosecute you for reals. But because it's Hunter Biden, but because it's Joe Biden's son, nothing will come of this. So this is one report that I wanted to show you guys regarding Hunter Biden. But now we have another report that has to do with Hunter Biden. And this comes courtesy of Politico. And it says, sources, Secret Service inserted itself into case of Hunter Biden's gun. So not only did he lie on a federal form to get a firearm by not stating that he is addicted to drugs, that he is a drug user. But now the Secret Service has to insert himself regarding who knows if it's that same gun, but regarding one of the guns that he owns. It says the bizarre incident involved a trash can, a man searching for recyclables and eventually the federal government or federal enforcement, federal law enforcement. It says, on October 23rd, 2018, Joe Biden's son and daughter-in-law Haley were involved in a bizarre incident in which Haley took Hunter's gun and threw it in a trash can behind a grocery store, only to return later and find out that it's gone. Gone! Who will grab a firearm? Who in their right mind will grab a firearm and throw it in a public place? That is some crazy, crazy stuff. Delaware police began investigating, concerned that the trash can was across from a high school and that the missing gun could be used in a crime, according to law enforcement. But a curious thing happened at the time. Secret Service agents approached the owner of the store where Hunter thought the gun, uh, bought the gun, I'm sorry, and asked to take the paperwork involving the sale, according to two people, one of whom had firsthand knowledge of the episode and the other was briefed by a, C a Secret Service agent after the fact. The gun store owner refused to supply the paperwork, suspecting that the Secret Service officers wanted to hide Hunter's ownership of the missing gun in the case that what is involved, it might have been involved in a crime. The two people said the owner, Ron Pelomeri, later turned over the papers to the burial of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms and explosives, or the ATF, which oversees federal gun laws. Well, in reality, the gun owner had no choice but to turn over that, that paperwork to the ATF. Maybe he didn't have to turn it over to Secret Service. That's not an obligation of the owner of the gun owner to 
or the gun store owner to give it to, but to the ATF, he has to, no matter what. If he doesn't give it over, he might get shut down. So he had no choice. The Secret Service says it has no records of his agents investigating the innocent, and Joe Biden, who was not under the protection of the time, said through a spokesperson that he has no knowledge of any Secret Service involvement. So one are saying it didn't happen, the other one saying it did happen. Days later, the gun was returned by an older man who regularly rummages through the grocery store's trash to collect recyclable items according to people familiar with the, inc the situation. The incident did not result in charges or arrests. Now, again, I reinstate what I said earlier. If you, yes you, were to go and throw your firearm in a trash can, in a public place, they look at the serial number and they trace it back to you, what do you think will happen to you? Let me know in the comment section below. If you, let's say as a spouse, grabs your spouse's gun and tosses it in, in the trash can at a grocery store and the police finds out that you did that, what will happen to you? Let me know in the comment section below. It says, but the alleged involvement in the secret with regarding the Secret Service remains a mystery. One law enforcement official said at the time of the incident, Individual Secret Service agents at the agency's office in Wilmington, Delaware, and Philadelphia kept the information, uh, kept an informal hand in maintaining the former vice president's security. The person cited an instance in 2019 when the Wilmington office of the Secret Service called the Delaware State Police to arrange security for a public appearance by Biden. So, again, what will happen? To you, if you threw a gun in a public place with no regard for anyone's safety, with no regard for really anyone's safety, because they said it was across the street from a high school. And the other thing too, what will happen to you if you lie on a federal form, especially of a gun? A gun background check. Here in California, you go through three different background systems, state and federal and FBI. And then after that, after you go through all those three and you're cleared, you still have to wait 10 days while they keep running your background to see if anything comes up. Yet this guy is able to lie repeatedly lie who knows how many guns he actually owns and how many times he actually perjured himself but nothing is going to happen to him nothing happened to him regarding the background check and nothing happened to him or his or his girlfriend wife or whatever she is for throwing a weapon a gun in a public trash can but once again let us know what you guys think in the comment section below and answer my questions. What will happen to you if you guys did this? Let me know in the comments. Make sure that you subscribe and you click that notification bell. And if you like this report, slap a like on it. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and you like us on Facebook. Wrong way. And also make sure you go and check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Thanks so much for joining us here at the newsroom and for visiting us. And we hope that you guys see us next time. Thank you so much. My name is Gent Goldstein and I will see you soon. Peace.